All right, the question is, everything is what in Texas? I feel like I know the answer to this. Though. That's fine. You can get it right. You can get it right because it's going to break out into a rave if you get it right. A rave? Yeah. Because you got teriyaki boys playing. <laughs> well, officer. No, he's a sheriff. Well, sheriff. And a, you're Asian. I'm Jimmy. He's from Texas. I'm Jimmy Bob Boy, and let me tell you, I may be Asian, but I ain't no yeller feller you ain't never seen. <laughs> Welcome back to the second episode of Over, Over Medium, Medium, you baby. feel me? Oh, we yeah. didn't even rehearse that. Look how loud it was, though. We can, we can turn it down. We can turn We're it down. We're gonna turn it down. But yeah, this is the second episode. I hope you guys loved the first one. I think it came out great. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it yeah was, you did a great job editing it. Hey, thanks, bro. I appreciate it. But it's just going to go better and better. I have the laptop in front of me. We have better lighting. We got this thing. So at some point of the podcast, we will be spinning this to see... What we do for 10, 15 minutes of it. Yeah. And most of them, we really don't even know what we're going to do for them yet. So it'll make it more fun. Yeah. I just wrote them down. Yeah. So in the comments down below, give us an idea of one of them that you can put on there. It could be anything. We just put little games on here. If, you, if there's a topic that you want us to talk about, throw it down there and we'll put it on here. But there's 14 spots. So for right now, the first 14 comments we get we'll put them on there yeah and i think it'll be uh it'll be fun for a lot of you guys you'll be able to pick what we get to do on this podcast we'll put your little at at the bottom sure you know who you are bro how was your week i ain't seen you bro it was good i worked yeah yeah it was stupid sounds terrible i didn't work work was horrible (laughs) work was horrible all week let me tell you it was not good but it was it is what it is but i don't really care about it i'm not going to talk about work yeah how was your vacay vacation was really good super relaxing we just like we just chilled honestly drank a lot of beer went on a lot of hikes seen some waterfalls uh i played bro i played golf at pipestem so pipestem's like a it's a state park in west virginia um it's like a state park resort it Mm. was beautiful whole 17 it's a par 3 210 played from the tips island green dang was it Mm -hmm. really sort of so you like, there's like a, uh, like a canyon that comes straight down. So you just have to hit it. Over. I mean, if you hit short, you're never getting your ball back. There's no way it drops down like a hundred feet from like, is there water or where the tee box? No, it's just trees, but it's like a hundred foot drop. So you got your tee box and then like maybe like 15 yards in front of the tee box, hundred foot drop. And then like 30 yards in front of the green, it starts back flat again. And then the view, dude, I swear to God, you could see all of West Virginia from that hole. It was West Virginia. beautiful. Bro. Yeah, yes, sir. Bro, so did you have to go over a bridge to, like, get to the green? No, you go around. So, like, the canyon. So, it's basically like a U. Mm. So, it just you just go around and drive what over to called? the green. It's called Pipe Stem. Good luck finding anything on it. I seriously, like, before I went, I looked up a bunch of stuff. Tried watching TikToks, people playing golf there. I wanted to see what the course was like. Nothing. 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 There's one video of a guy uh he's swinging an iron and he literally just it, this is all it is it's an older guy he picks his club up comes down hits the grass and goes dang it and that's it that's the whole video <laughs> dang it <laughs> <laughs> don't even know what hole it is yeah oh, dude so i so you know i think i told you this but we say pop here Right, we don't oh, say. I know, but we don't say pop. I'm don't from s- California, and we call it soda. Yeah, well, so I've always called it soda. Yeah, they don't say pop in West Virginia, so I asked for a Dr Pepper. Where I'm calling this pizza place. We ordered oh, okay. pizza on the last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. We we got two calzones. I got some wings, and I I asked the guy, I was like, can we get like a two liter of Dr Pepper? He goes, a box of peppers. I'm yeah. like, no, a Dr. Pepper. He's like, I got banana peppers. I'm like, I don't want banana peppers. I'm like, like pop. I was like, you got Mountain Dew? He goes, I have no idea what you're talking about. Did they have Mountain Dew? And I was Dew, like, though? no. And I was like, uh, the pop, man. Like, you know, like Pepsi. He's like, uh, and Cara's like, say soda. And I'm like, 
you know, like a soda, like a Pepsi. He goes, oh, yeah, we got Pepsi. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, I was like, okay, we'll take a Pepsi. He goes, well, all we got right now is a Dr. Pepper two liter. I was like, oh, my gosh. Bro. I was like, yeah, I'll take a, I'll take a two liter of Dr. Pepper, please. Oh Thank you. I was laughing. We were laughing so hard because he's like, a box of peppers. <laughs> he said, I got banana peppers. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't want a box of yeah, peppers. Bro. I feel like Michigan's the only place that calls it pop. You know what the other thing is? I noticed, too, when we were driving back. All through, like, so we take a lot of these trips, you know, and all through Tennessee, West Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, all that, like, East Coast, Southern side. Everybody, you know, 65, 70, all speed limits are 55, 60, 65, mm-hmm. and everybody does that. You know, it's real mm-hmm. slow. I swear. As soon as I cross the Michigan border this morning, 95 miles an hour. I'm going 70, and everybody's flying past me. I'm like, dude, what is <laughs> this? You get on 696, it's 100. Dude, I swear. I was it's like, 100. people are quick down here. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah man it was crazy the other thing the other thing i noticed too is like down there it's all mountain people and mountains that's about it you know oh, yeah. they, they got some lakes and around here all it is is like dollar trees and dispos like that's the difference <laughs> like, uh, it's like it's it's like more populated i feel like Oh, it's so much more, I swear. But we also live in the city. Yeah, we do live in the city. Like, city. even up where we work, yeah. from where down here, I would still call that. Like, I know they don't call it the city, but, yeah. like, from everywhere else, and not just saying southeast Michigan, it's everywhere in the U.S., it's literally so populated. Or if not until you get to, like, California yeah. or Colorado, but it's literally just... Yeah, where we stayed... It was, uh, there wasn't a lot of people, like, living-wise, but it was a very nice area. It was Athens, West Virginia, and, uh, I mean, these houses were beautiful. Most of them, you could tell, were just very wealthy farmers. Oh, Oh, I bet. They drove beautiful trucks Mm -hmm. and just had so much land and so many animals everywhere all around us, like, in their homes. We seen this one house, we just were taking a drive one day, and we seen this house had to have been 5,000 square feet beautiful top of a mountain like maybe three thousand foot elevation Mm -hmm. it's probably like what we were at around there right they're literally at the peak on the top of it and all down the side all cleared out all just a whole farm just down the side of this mountain dude it was was oh my that's a movie it was dude that's a movie yeah that was like Bro. Some King Ranch, like we don't have a sheriff because Billy on top of the hill runs the town. <laughs> That's There's how twenty was. people in the town. Yeah, I swear. Yeah, you'd see some of the schools that were like, it's like a elementary school, middle school, and a high school like all put together. Oh yeah, yeah. Because because everybody. Like, there's only like thirty three kids a, in the city. Yeah. It's the type of place that like, when football games happen on Friday, whole town shuts down. Let me tell you, boy. When I went into town, like, maybe Thursday or Tuesday, and they just, a baseball game had just got out, it was jumping. You would think it was Mardi Gras in Louisiana, boy. Really? This city was jumping. In West Virginia? This, yeah, after this baseball game, boy. Yeah. I was like, dude, every single person was at the pizza place, the ice cream shop, everybody all in their jerseys. Bro, that's lit. Yeah, it was sweet. That is awesome. Though. I would kind of like to grow up in a small town like that. I would. I feel like that. Yeah. But I, I don't like, know, you know. Yeah, because I feel like sometimes that you wouldn't even understand, like, not understand, but know what the quote-unquote outside world would be. Yeah. Yeah. I There's a, I listened to this song while we were down there. It's by Tyler Childers called Nose on the Grindstone. And um, it's an incredible song. But... He grew up in like a mining town, and that's what it is a lot in West Virginia. It's all you, all the billboards. They all say like, "Join this mining company. Join this oh, mining mine, company. mine, mine, mining, mine. yeah, for coal." And uh, yeah, dude, they just kind of talk like all his songs. He kind of talks about like they don't even. He's like, if only we knew uh, what would what like our potential could have been if we would have listened to the people who knew, because they didn't even know. You know they. They were mountain people, and they, they didn't know. That's all they knew was mountain. Yeah, that's all they knew was mining, crazy, mining coal. Man. I actually watched this TikTok of this like lady from South Korea mm-hmm. or North Korea, one of the two. 
I would say wherever the one that's like she escaped. Up. It was on Joe Rogan. Yeah. Joe Rogan experience, and she like was like, I didn't even know that I was Asian. Like I didn't even know that, like, Koreans were a uh, like race or nationality or like yeah. you know what I mean. Like she thought that was it. She thought that the, these people were just these people. Yeah. And she had no idea what California was. She had no idea what the U.S. was. She had no idea what South Africa, or just Africa, period. Yeah. Germany. Russia. Bro, what? I couldn't even imagine. Could you, bro? And then she escaped, and yeah. it's like everything now. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that. Her and her mom ran away. I think. From, I don't know. Yeah, from North Korea. It's just like a little TikTok i seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you should watch that whole interview. It's pretty intense. With Joe Rogan? Mm-hmm. Bro. I watch some crazy stuff on Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan Experience is fire. Yeah, probably. No, that's the number one podcast, right? Is it? I don't think so. Who would be bigger? I mean, there's probably... A, I don't know by Call numbers. Call Daddy, Impulsive, and Joe Rogan Experience. Those got to be the biggest three. Well, yeah, but let's just look. So, like, Joe... Well, so, like, if you look up, like, Call Her Daddy. Call Her Daddy, uh, they got that Spotify deal. So, she doesn't post the videos on YouTube because they post the videos... Excuse me, right on Spotify now. I think mm. Logan Paul's got like 67 million subs or something like that. These are the most popular podcasts in the world. But what is the all-time biggest? Yeah. I, I feel like it's got to be Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's up there, bro. It's got to be. It yeah. definitely is, and it always will be. Yeah. He has so many people on there. And That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, completely different backgrounds as well. Yeah. You know, I feel like uh, like the Nelk Boys podcast could be a lot bigger if they weren't the Nelk Boys. Because they don't like appeal to... Everybody, you know, it's just college boys. I feel like, yeah, right? but, I don't know though. I've never watched them to be honest. The Nelk boys, they're like some Canadian guys that are just full send, man, like all the time. And sorry, he's got to plug in, <laughs> he's got to plug in the laptop. They're, uh, yeah, I mean, like your grandma would not watch this you no, know what I'm saying? I, and your yeah. mom like you know they wouldn't watch this but they had trump on there they did have trump on there which is crazy see that's like the they're that's the other thing too is they're like a super conservative republican group of guys you know yeah. so like and they're huge partiers love drugs so it's like they do yeah they go crazy they do they go make crazy. happy day, and right? they yeah and they're degenerates in gambling they gamble like crazy. Every time I watch a TikTok, I throw $100 in my DraftKings. I'm like, let me see what I can do. <laughs> He's like, I could do what they do. Yeah, I'm like, I watch them like, they're like, we just made 150 grand. And I'm like, I'm about to turn this $100 into 1000 right now. 48 seconds later, it's gone. Completely. Um, I'm like, kind of crying a little bit. That Rocket game get you? No. To be honest, I'd be playing this one little slot game because I'll be getting, I'll be getting lit. It's like, <laughs> it's like this uh, um, little Irish game, and it's just like a bunch of little like leprechauns. Little and they're leprechaun just boys. dancing and it's a slot, <laughs> but it'd be hitting. Some I'll be like throw fifty dollars in. I'll be up like three hundred, and I'm like put it all on one spin. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Mm. and then you lose it. Yeah, yeah. It's and like then I get off that game. Instantly. Yeah, because I can't put any more money in. Nope. Because I can't do it. <laughs> Completely gone. Yeah. It's all gone. Yeah. Dude, I remember going to the golf course with Trevor. And he was in the cart. And he would just hit. He hits a little rocket. You just keep going, going, going. Bro, you, you just know he, pull. He hit for eight grand on that. Bro, that's he crazy. Did a hundred, he hit $100. Or he was up like 700 bucks, And he's like, I'm going to do a $100 ride. And uh, he put $20. And he started with 20 bucks. And it was while he was taking his morning poo. It's up like seven hundred hours. Throws a hundred dollar rocket, eighty X. Bro, what? Yeah. Bro, what? Yeah. I was like, he was taking dude. a poo. Yeah, made eight grand. He was pooping. What? I know. That's why. See, like, I kind of like the gambling because it keeps me like not gambling <laughs> off my trading. <laughs> so like, I'll be trading, and I'm like, save the gambling for DraftKings. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah, because you can't gamble in the in the in the markets, bro. No, you're no. just gonna lose. Yeah. 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 Losing sucks so bad. Especially when you lose money. A lot of it too. Money. <laughs> you're losing it. You're losing yeah. the money. Can't have it, man. Yeah. But it'd be like that, bro. 
Swear. They're unpredictable. Yeah, the th- I mean, that's the thing, too, is just like, I mean, after so long, you know, it's been eight years. You know, it's been eight years since we started. Bro, but John doing... kept up with that. We did this. We started this company. Yeah, no, John marketing started company. It, yeah. It was like 2016, I think. Is that is that eight years? Or 2017. Yeah, 16 or 17. I think I might have started in 16, like the end of 16, like November. Yeah, you started before us. You yeah. brought me and Koo in. Yeah. I called you guys when I was in Sacramento. I was like, you want to join my pyramid scheme? Bro, I remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember that, actually, because you were sitting, like, you were standing outside. Yeah. And there was, like, 14 other guys behind him. On the exact same phone call. Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> Called all their friends like, swear to God. yo, bro, I'm telling you, we got to make money quick. This is how it is. This yeah. Is what, and we did it. And we did. We actually, I mean, we traveled a lot. We did. Yeah. Did I make money? That, I didn't make money. I made money. John made money. I did not make money. Still making money. Just yeah, yeah. not doing network marketing anymore. Yeah. My own thing. Yeah. But it was a trading, foreign exchange. Yeah, Forex and crypto. They're huge now. They're just doing a phenomenal job at growing. Like the company wise, like they're just they've they've done a phenomenal job at like building themselves as like a, an established company. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's done like it. it was thriving when we were in it. Oh yeah. Dude, you should see everything they have now. Bro, I can even imagine. Yeah. Right? But I've met so many good people through that whole Oh, absolutely. That chunk of life, like that time yeah. that we all had together. Bro, it was probably some of the best times of my life. Oh, dude. Bro, yeah. I'm telling you. I had so much fun. You know how much I traveled? Bro, I mean, you traveled more than us. But we literally, I remember you call, called me and Koo again and said, Alex Morton is going to California, to our California team. We have to go. I said, okay. When we going? Tomorrow. Yeah, it was like... The, it was like For a, a night. It was like a week. It was like a week in advance, maybe two weeks. No, I don't even think it was that long. I think I mean, it was... I think we, I think it was like on a Monday we decided we were going, and we thought we had to we had to go tell Ange, hey, we ain't gonna be here this weekend. All three of us. All three of us. All three. <laughs> like we can't, like we can't, because we all worked at Chili's together. Mm-hmm. We like we're going. We did. Yeah, we flew out to Sacramento for like two days and then came home. Yeah, slept on couches. Mm-hmm. You know how many couches I slept on during oh, that time? Bro. So many freaking couches. Bro. I went to so many places, Texas a couple times, Vegas five times, Sacramento four or five times. I went to Sacramento that one time. Went to Florida. Oh, yeah, we did go to, we went Bro, to Fort Lauderdale. Florida. Florida, that was fun. That was a sweet trip, especially because everybody went. Everybody. We showed up, bro, yeah. 20 people deep. Yeah. That's lit, yeah. bro. It was we so much fun. We up, bro. We had a beautiful bro. house. But we messed it up because we got a car off a of Toro. <laughs> oh, yeah. We let's, got a car off a Toro. Let's tell the story. Let's we tell the story. Car. So, look. We're sitting at the airport for, like, hours. Probably, like, an hour, two hours. None of yeah. us. I, I don't think any of us were 25 yet. Yeah, no one was. No one was 25, so we couldn't... Rent a car. Rent a car. And we're like, why not? Let's This app called Toro was hot. You just basically go on there, rent a car for however Only long. had to be 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only had to be 21. And the guy just brought it to us. So we ended up doing that. He brought the car to us. It was lit. We got the car. He took pictures of everything. We got to the, the, the house, and we had, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't 20 of us at the time. Mm-mm. I think it was like seven of us. Well, yeah, maybe like 10 of us. Yeah, I don't know. But we chill. We were chilling all day. We were chilling all day long. And then we were going, uh, a couple of us were going, I, w- I wasn't, but a couple of the friends were going to the store. Oh, yeah. We were inside. We, I, I think we didn't yeah. go. Yeah. It was me like and you Marlo. were at the kitchen table. Yeah. They were all getting ready to go to the store. Yeah. Nick Mick, I think. Yeah. Eric, Kaylee, yeah. Yeah. Lane, maybe Koo. But Austin. We were, yeah, maybe. But we we're chilling inside. And all we hear from the garage. We just hear a big boom yeah like like glass shattering <laughs> we're like what the heck happened but we go back and the whole entire back windshield is completely shattered. shattered yeah there was a storm a hurricane door on our airbnb that we got and uh they closed the emergency latch in the back door when they got in and so when they backed the car up it went to slam the a hurricane door right on the back of the oh, car. We just taped a garbage bag on that bad boy for yeah. the whole trip. 
Bro, but it's crazy, bro, because, like, we didn't know what happened. We are like, why did this just automatically fall off? Like, why did the, the door just fall, you know? And then they went to go leave again. And we, they were like, yeah, why not? And the door, we that's when we seen it. Yeah, it was closed in the door. They did it again. They yeah. closed it, and then it almost slammed again. Yeah, but on somebody it. was holding it. Somebody yeah. was holding Austin it. Austin was. Yeah, somebody. I, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, bro. And that was the first night, bro. That was, like, the first, like, couple two hours. hours of having yeah. the car. And we had to call this guy. I called him. I was like, hey, so, like, the yeah. garage door fell on the car. He goes, all right, well, uh, I guess just tape a garbage bag to yeah. it, and we'll just fix it through Toro. And yeah. I was like. All right, cool. He Thanks, was lit man. about it. Yeah. We were like, we're below key. We should have just called Safe Right. Yeah, we should have just called Safe Right Replay. Safe Right Replay. Because it wouldn't have mind. gone on nobody's collections. I don't even know if it's on mine. I don't know whose it was on. I think it's on Merlo's. Yeah, I think it's on Merlo's. Because it was my app, but in his name. Yeah. But boy, I got a fat boy. A little fat invoice. Yeah. <laughs> Toro. Yeah, that was rough, man. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. But it was a fun trip, bro. We had, seriously, probably, like, 30 people in this Airbnb. Oh, yeah, because we had the Arkansas team was there. Sacramento, like, Nick Gregorio and them, they stayed there. And then we threw that big-ass, like, event Yeah. at the Airbnb. Yeah, with Nick. Um, John Guam and Kim. John Guam, yeah. yeah. That, that was, was crazy. Fire. Yeah. Yeah, and then we had to sleep there. I slept on the floor. I slept on the couch. I slept on so many things, bro. Yeah. That's where the adjustable came to life. We ain't even finna tell you about it. <laughs> I'm, just saying, I'm just saying the adjustable was a thing. Yeah. It might be a thing yeah. sometime. Yeah, we're gonna trademark it, make a yeah. product. Don't worry about it. Yeah. The over medium adjustable. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Adjustable. Did you say you're trying to spin this wheel? Yeah, I was just thinking, I was just looking at it. Sp- spin it. Spin That's it. what we should do. All right, chat. Chat. It's like it's live. All right, guys. And women and girls. And men. And they. And them. Them. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully it's something good. Oh, it's I Spy. All right. I Spy. You go first. Low I spy with my little eye. Oh ho, uno, oh ho. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so just like we're like seven years old playing I spy in first yeah. grade? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do I get all right. It's gotta be in here though. It's okay. I feel like I need to do like a scan. Yeah, of the scan. Room. Beep boop pop scan <laughs> scan. <laughs> so how many guesses you get? So I just be like, I spy with my well, little. He ain't eye. never played I Spy before. Something. It's just been you know yeah, twenty know. years since I, I played I Spy. I know, I know, I know. I spy with my little eye something purple. Something purple. Uh huh. Mm. It could be a lot. Um, I want to say that Fago grape. <laughs> Is it the Fago grape? <laughs> Fago. Yeah, off rip. First try. How many questions I need? One. That's it. Do you even get questions? Was that a question? I don't even think you asked a question. A statement. I made one. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. I made one. All right, all right, all right, all right. I spy. With my little eye. I already done picked it out. Okay. Something blue. Is it this Febreze can or whatever this is? That's Lysol. Lysol. And no. It ain't. Your mouse pad. No. The Kendama. I forgot I had that. Let's shred it's a little baby blue. This is baby blue. I suck. Something blue. My zen. No. That was a good guess. That was a good guess. It is one of these stickers. You wouldn't even be able to see the blue sticker. No, no, no. I can't see them. So the G it's... Fuel. No, I didn't even know. Where is it? It's behind the I couldn't even Logitech see it. Pro Box. You know what's crazy? Hmm. It didn't even exist in my mind. Because I couldn't <laughs> see it until now. Something <laughs> blue. Is it the Stream Deck box? No. Is it the blue on the... No, I wouldn't do that. Is it your shirt? No. But that was... It's very, very blue. It is like a... I it's like I'm a min- clothing item. Kind of. Is it? Is it an actual clothing item? Or does it look like a clothing item? 
I have no idea. Some, the gears are turning. Gears are turning. Something blue. Something blue. Is it this? No, no, no. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> You're the worst. It's that. It's that blue jacket. I would say this is blue. Yeah. 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 I was really thirsty though. Yeah. Is that it? This is it. Okay. <laughs> this is it. This is it. This is it. Is that what is what is the U of M colors? Is it maize and blue or is it maize and gold? What is maize? Maze. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. That's from Grown Ups. I know. Great I'm, movie. You didn't answer my question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> maze. I don't know. Is it maize and blue or is it maize and gold? I know it's green and white. No, I, I think it's just blue and gold. No, they're not blue and gold. It's maize a and real, something. I'm a real Michigan fan. I don't care. Let me way. know. No, no, not him. Oh, okay. Let us know what it says. Yeah, is it maize and blue or is it maize and gold? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What's maize? Is it blue? Maze. It, it's a maze. Maze. It's, maze. <laughs> it's a maze. All right, we're spinning this again because yeah. I spy was lame. That's a good spin. That's a good spin. Pictionary? Pictionary? Bro, we're not ready for this. We're not ready for these things. All right. Not at all. We all should right. have prepared. It's okay. What is Pictionary? What is Pictionary? I don't play games, man. I don't play games. Pictionary uh, is... Let me put this down. Pictionary is where you take a, um, a piece of paper. Okay. You're going to draw something for me? And a writing me? utensil. And you write. You don't write anything, actually. You draw okay. something. And you have a... You have like a certain amount of time oh, okay. to guess it. All right. Well, look, we got this time. I can see the timer over here. Yeah, I'll so. just throw a timer on like the edit. Oh, okay. That's cool. As well. Yeah. But I'm just going to think of something. Okay. And I am going to Google a timer though. I would do it on my phone, but both of our phones are being used. Being used. All right, while we wait for you to figure this out, if you could have... One thing where no amount of money, you know, like was like any amount of money. Mm -hmm. you, you could have anything. What didn't would matter. you pick? Yeah, it didn't matter. What would I pick? Yeah. Um. Honestly, probably like a huge house. Yeah, just insane. Like the only ranch. reason I say an actual house, because I would want it to be already like kind of move in ready to the point where... There's furniture already there. Yes. Yeah. If I'm spending the money, mine's I'm the same thing. The money. I'm buying a ranch in Montana <clears throat> on some Hannah Montana type stuff, bro. Yeah. Right. No. no. But not in where she live, Beverly. Hills. She didn't live in Beverly Hills. I don't know. But like, have you seen the ranches in Montana? Where they're on like three, four hundred acres. There's probably. I I think there's even some like on a couple thousand acres, where it's just like they have the most beautiful wildlife. They're ten thousand square foot homes like insane oh plus God. guest houses golf courses see that's what i'm saying private i'm trying to get something private. like that yeah to where my family can live on there too oh yeah so that way everybody's taken care of and i don't have to worry about it yeah nothing like no yeah yeah I feel that. Like let's do that i'm down i'm so down let's buy 100 acres 100 yeah 100 acres we can put a nine hole par three no problem and probably like five or six houses and everybody would still have some room. Because you got to think, of my my property is 20 acres. How many houses do you think you could put on that? Oh, yeah, but that all the trees and everything. Well, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do some deforestation. It's all right. They heard that. 100% they heard that. I tried not to. You got this here. timer? Oh, yeah, I've been. All right. You're talking about your Take little ranch. Me. I just want, I hope they can see. All right. Well, just draw it. Draw it really quick and then just show it. No, no, you have to guess it while, while I'm you're drawing. drawing. While I'm drawing, we have a minute. Oh, okay, okay. Well, they can see we it at the end. We have a minute. Nah, bro. It's just one 60 seconds. 60 seconds. All right, start drawing and then they'll see it at the end. All right, we'll I gotta think of something. Right. Bro, why are you getting mad? I'm not, I didn't. You got a little upset. <laughs> All right, so I really want them to see it. They're not gonna be able to. We're just going to have to live with it. Bro. Watch this. You ready? I'm drawing it right on my hand. Okay. I think this can see it. Yeah, maybe. 
<laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right. Um, 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 um. Fold it in one more. All half. right. So we got. Yeah, there you go. All right, you ready? Yep. Go. We got a minute. All right, here we go. We're going to go there, right? Okay. Come here. It's a moon. That's a good guess. That's it's a, a banana. Guess. Banana, baby! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. How many seconds? Yeah, we took 14. 14. 14. That's a banana. <laughs> if I've ever seen one. That's a banana. A banana. All right. A banana. Cough it up. All right. Let's switch it. Yeah, make sure, make sure, you're, make sure... You're going to write it like that? Upside down so they can see it. You think so? They can see it? Yeah, but... All right, whatever. I'm going to continue the 46 seconds, so... All right. We got Let's it. see how many we can get. Yeah, in, yeah, in a in minute, minute. In a minute, all right. All right, hold on. I got to think of something. All right, all right. All right. Let me know. I'm going to move this up a little bit. All right, you ready? Ready? Go. A Dr. Pepper. It's close. Soda can. Yeah. Stop. It could have been a can of chicken noodle and he guessed the soda can. Gambles. Gambles. <laughs> <laughs> Said boy RD. All right. All right. All right. So. How many more seconds? It was a soda there? can? I mean, I would have called it a pop can. But. Um, <laughs> same difference. Same difference. West Virginia. 34 30, seconds. We got 34 seconds. All right. All right. I think we can get all four. No problem. All four? Make it a little more challenging this Only time. four? All right. Make it a little bit challenging. Yeah, more than a banana and a ch- soda can. Banana. We're intermediate. Level yeah. two. <laughs> <laughs> Level two. Sorry, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay. Think away. I'm letting you think. Thinker, 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 pimpkin. All right. Ready? Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Okay, tell me when. I don't know if it'll. I don't know if it'll start like that. Try it. Nope. No. 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 Didn't do it. All right. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Boom. It's a t-shirt. Nope. Sweater. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. And then we're gonna go here. It's a suit and tie. Tie. Yeah, baby. It's a tie. Look at that. That's a tie. It's a horrible. Looks like a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks like a handkerchief. Handkerchief? Or you know, like one of them, like like a cowboy's tiny sure. little bandani, a bandandit. Bandandit? You don't know nothing about the bandandits, boy. Damn, boy, it look like you got spurs on the back of your boots. <laughs> <laughs> I used to rock a bandana in high school just around my forehead. You know. I bet you did. Yeah. You look like the kid that did that. Mm-hmm. Let my little afro just pop right at the top. Yeah, he said, I got a do-rag on, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got 17 seconds. We have to get this. Okay. Do you know what it is? No. All right. I was really focused when you were thinking about your thoughts, and I didn't think about my own thoughts. You didn't? No. Mm. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right, this is going to be challenging. Okay, you ready? Challenging? Yes. All right, ready? 17 seconds. Go. It's a, it's a, a box, a bed, I can't see, um, a bird feeder, a phone, a, a radio, a radio, a dog, oh, it's over, keep going though, a granddaddy clock, granddaddy clock, a granddaddy clock, granddaddy clock, look at this, uh, granddaddy clock, upside down, boy, yeah, I threw that like this. yeah he was upside down, he said, you, you, that's not a bad granddaddy clock. No, bro. That's that was great. That was a good granddaddy clock. That was a good Pictionary. Yeah, that was a good Pictionary. That was good. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Liked it. Liked it. A lot. A lot. A lot. All right, I got something for you. All right, I'm gonna give you a character. All right. And you got to play this character. All right, man. Okay, you ready? Talk to me in my ear holes. <laughs> All right. So you're driving down the freeway. You're with your friends. You're in a car, obviously. No, no, not obviously. You're in a car. You're in a Mitsubishi Eclipse. Okay, so that's the kind of car you're in. Okay. Instantly, we're listening to teriyaki, teriyaki boys. Okay. 
Fine, have it. You know, what I'm listen to Teriyaki Boys. You know the song? Not a chance. Yeah, you do. I don't know it. We had to listen to it. All right, fine, we will. But you're listening to Teriyaki Boys. You're having a good time. Okay. Yeah. Engine starts sputtering. <laughs> Engine, sp- <laughs> Engine starts sputtering. So you guys pull over to the side. You realize it wasn't the engine, it was the tire. You got no spare, no jack. Okay. This truck pulls up behind you. It's the sheriff. Mm. He gives you two chances. Dose? Two. You get two chances to answer his question right. Or he kills you. He kills me? Yeah. But in a shootout, he gives you a pistol. Yeah. You got to take 30 paces. He gives paces. me a pistol? Yeah, he gives you a pistol for a shootout. It's a challenge. Side of the freeway. Oh, my gosh. You ready for the question? Yeah. If. I thought I had to act the scene out. but You will. You were going to have to. Right. You're going to start acting from the question part. Like, you need to give your answer. Right. But it's life or death. Oh, shoot. Yeah. And you got a flat tire. Ter- teriyaki boys is playing in the background doors open in the car everybody's I, I want to put it in my head okay <laughs> i might have to i might have to listen to it <laughs> so the question is so and oh. after you after you answer the question if you answer it correctly he's going to change your tire and it's going to break out into a rave <laughs> it's going to break onto a rave baby <laughs> yeah this is it this yeah but this teriyaki so boys. exactly this is playing in the background all right this is playing in the background <laughs> yeah so, you ready right. for the question? I got a gun. All right, here. this is the question. Miss UBC. I'm Asian, 100%. Yeah, yeah, you have to be. You listen to Teriyaki Boys? Yeah. You're in Tokyo. But he's... <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, the question is, everything is what in Texas? I feel like I know the answer to this, though. That's fine. You can get it right. You can get it right because it's going to break out into a rave if you get it right. A rave? Yeah. Because you got teriyaki boys playing. <laughs> well, officer. No, he's a sheriff. Well, sheriff. And a, you're Asian. I'm Jimmy, he's from Texas. I'm Jimmy Bob Boy. And let me tell you, I may be Asian, but I ain't no yeller feller you ain't never seen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm telling you. All right, Asian. You're Asian. Oh, the, oh, the car, big boy. <laughs> big boy, I'm telling you right now, big and detectives, boy. No, um, he's probably just a regular American yeah. kid that sounds just like this. Yeah. Um, his name's Jerry. So to give him a name, Jerry. Well, sheriff, I'm gonna. I think I know the answer to this one. Well, boy, what is it? Well, I would like to say. What is <laughs> What is No Everything is Bigger in Texas Play a song Play a song hey, We got a rain We ain't dying um, <laughs> We ain't dying Yo But that's it Yeah Yeah That's all I could come hey, up that with was lit, I liked it I liked it I liked it But Fast and Furious is fire. Hmm? Fast and Furious is pretty fire. Dude, I just watched a TikTok before I came over here of uh, this guy who's like, here's my experience so far in Tokyo. The oh. underground car scene is insane. Wild. What I would do to go there and experience that. What I would do as a bigger guy, yeah. fat, I want to go to a Japanese 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, have you ever seen a Japanese Seven Eleven? Like in Japan? Yeah. Well, no. no. What? Well, Japan. What are, Japanese. What 7-11. are these Seven Elevens considered? American. They're not run by Americans most of the time. Uh, so. Well, if a bunch of Japanese people owned a Seven Eleven, I would call that a Japanese Seven Eleven. You don't call this an Arabic Seven Eleven? I guess you're what? Right. <laughs> Who said it was Arabic? The guy that owns it. <laughs> Uh, but, but no, I haven't seen a Japanese Seven Eleven. They have great things. They have like convenience, like it's obviously a convenience store, but they have everything in there. First of all, all the ramen because that's what they eat. Yeah, for every it's meal. Incredible. And then they have these sandwiches, like an egg salad sandwich. You like egg salad sandwiches? Love egg salad sandwiches. Beautiful, right? Yeah. They have these pillow, 
pillows for what they call bread. <laughs> <laughs> With some egg salad sandwich in the middle. And half of the time, it's full soft boiled eggs. Just two of them plopped in the middle. They cut in half. They show you the middle what? inside. What's up with that? Like, I've been watching a lot of cooking videos recently because of our little uh, uh, thing we got going on. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. We might have a little VVVV. Yeah, we're not going to talk about it too much, but we got this little cooking thing going on. Yeah. And uh, so I've been watching a lot of cooking videos, you know. What's up with, like, the like the Asian scene doing soft-boiled eggs? You've never done a soft-boiled egg? No. Never had one. What? Yeah. Soft-boiled eggs, in my opinion, are superior... To hard boiled eggs. Yeah. Why? Because I mean, I it just so essentially it's just a hard boiled egg, just not cooked as long. The whites are hard. Yeah, but the inside is the still inside's yolky. Still yolky. Which, if you don't like eggs, then you're not gonna like it. I mean, I love eggs, but I love like so a, it's slurpy, like in the uh, middle. Like you would drink it and then eat the white. Kind no, of you just wouldn't do that. You would just eat the egg. You like just throw regular, the whole thing in your mouth. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And it's still warm inside, so it'd be like a oh, yeah. like an over medium egg. Oh yeah. <laughs> I see what he says. Hey, but no, yeah. It's I would throw a soft boiled egg in like my ramen. Yeah, that's what I see a lot of them do. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly I've seen a lot of Asian people, like a lot of Asian culture foods, have they do a lot of raw yolk as well. Yeah, just cracked over the top of stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. Like they'll have just the yolk though, not the white. Yeah. Yeah. They'll just yeah, take I've it like that. I've seen this guy take Wagyu mm-hmm. and he like hot, like cooked it in some crazy stuff put it on like he put like a bed of fried rice right in the middle of the plate cut the Wagyu into like little strips stood them up kind of where they're laying on top so it looked beautiful a little spiral and then put an egg right on top like an egg yolk right, right on, on top, top of it so it didn't and it just oozed over all the top over. of it oh my god I wonder if it was warm no, it's raw. It's right. It's true. Probably room temperature. Room temp- maybe. Yeah. I also noticed that a lot too. They always say like use room temperature stuff like eggs and butter. Oh yeah. I have, I use soft and butter for everything. Yeah. I did that this weekend and it made stuff a lot easier because the butter didn't take 17 years to melt. No. And also you don't like turn the heat up to make it melt and then burn the butter. Yeah. Burnt butter is gross. I cooked steak this weekend for the first time with... So you ever see, like, people, they, when they're cooking the steak, they put, like, the thyme in there, the garlic. Yeah. Yeah. I cooked it this weekend with thyme. Fresh thyme? Yeah, fresh thyme. Put it in there. What a difference that oh, yeah. makes to the flavor of the steak. It oh, yeah. turned out phenomenal. Oh, yeah. 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 And did you let it rest? In the pan. Yeah. I didn't take it off the heat, though. To let it oh, rest. okay. Yeah. They say taking it off the heat for like... And letting it rest for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Right off the heat, just to put it on like a little rack, like a little mm-hmm. grated rack or something. Let it sit. Let it cook inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the problem was is I couldn't really do that because... Uh, so our kitchen was outside. We didn't have a kitchen inside. Or no, yeah, I see that. So, and it was super windy and cold like every day. So every time, every time I took something off, it was just instantly cold. So I had to, uh, I had to be really good with my timing this weekend with all my cooking. Like everything had to finish at the exact same time, or something was gonna be cold by the time you got to it. That's know? good though. Yeah, it was actually it was a great experience. I was really learning how to cook. Hey, fire! Yeah, fire! I loved it. That's good, bro. I'm happy. Yeah, we're about to. Hey, but low key, we are about to have some great. It's like a little friend thing that we're doing every month. We try and get together with our little group of friends. And this time just happens to be a little little dinner party. Yeah. But that's all we about to tell you. Yeah. It's a little dinner party. Me and Drew are the chefs. That's yeah, it. yeah. And our buddy Merlo is going to be the little bartender. Yep. And then... Ku. Ku is going to be like a little server type thing. Yeah. Help us out, whatever. And then my sister is going to host it. Yeah, we're going to have a little friend, dinner, little dinner party. Yeah, so it'll be nice. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be, I'm it'll excited. Be... It's going to be weird because we're going to be cooking for like 14 people, 15 people. Oh, yeah. We got to – I have to wrap my head around this. Yeah. I was really trying to think about that, like how – how sides – like all the little stuff, the sides, appetizers, I feel like are going to be pretty easy to cook because I'm, I'm not envisioning like very much meat with those. But like that main dish is going to be 
Yeah, if, if we do that, though. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to do that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Because there's multiple people. And it'll be like a dinner rush, and I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to have fun. Yeah, it'll be a dinner rush. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm not trying to. We just got tickets galore. Just <laughs> yeah, all over. yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's taking so long on the stag? <laughs> I'm sorry, chef. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it'll be like right. ratatouille. So, chef, yeah. where's the ratatouille? Yeah, 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 literally. No idea what's going on. <laughs> You know how you do that the last second? Gordon Ramsay about to be yelling at us, bro. Oh, dude. I would love that. I would love to own a small little restaurant and have Gordon Ramsay come out really? and just, like, break me to shambles. That's awesome. Yeah. That's terrible at the same time, though. Yeah. And honestly, what I think we... I just had a thought. We're going to do, like, a little cooking show. Oh, yeah. We should do that. We should do or like that. a little video. Like a little second. Least, so. Dude, let's just get like a little fly top up here. No, I already. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. And just having like. Like a black stone or something. That or we can even do it outside. We could. We can do a bunch of different things. Yeah. And. We got the mics. Yeah. We got everything. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Yeah. Cooking show would be fire. 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 Well, hey, bro. It's been 46 minutes. It has been 46 minutes. I think it. You think it's a good one? I think it was. Well, it was pretty good. I think so. Yeah. I liked it. Oh, but yeah, we be... I have a good time. Yeah, you know? we always have a good time. It's always a fun time. But we're going to, like I said, give us ideas like we both yeah, said. Yeah, for the wheel. Because uh, we literally just asked AI to give us ideas. But if you guys give us ideas, then uh, we'll put your name up on there. And we will put your idea up there. And, uh, yeah, we'll just pick new ones every week. And as the channel grows, it'll be cooler to, you know, if you actually get picked, you know. So it'll be pretty cool. A little experience and a way for the viewers to get involved with us. Yes. It'll be a, it'll be a fun time. Before we do leave, though, we are going to just end off with this little word association. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Word association is I'm going to say a word and the first thing that pops in your head. Okay. And, uh, okay, so... But then when I say something, you have to say the first thing that pops in your head yeah, off yeah. what I say. Yeah, just don't say All right. Just don't say naughty words. I will try. <laughs> All right. We could either do that or we could just do it. You could do it like four or five times. But that's fine. We'll just yeah, go back we'll and just forth. go back and forth until we can't just think of a word. Yeah, whoever loses, loses. All right. Yeah. We'll just keep going. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yep. Chicken. Strip. Pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut butter. Sandwich. Banana. Jelly. Uncrustable. Frozen. Microwaved. Air fried. Toasted. Box. <laughs> Bag. <laughs> Wine. Cooler. Outside. Inside. Cooler. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing that popped in my head. <laughs> no, no. Look, look, look. All right. That was good. But that we're going to drink. I'm going to just fire off. And you should just say the first word that comes to my right. your head. Can I close right. my eyes? Absolutely. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Salad. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? You don't like salad? I just don't like lettuce. Oh, uh, you know? yeah. But whatever. Okay. Sandwich. Pickles. Pole. Barn. Really? That was the worst thing that popped in your head? I, I've been in West Virginia, boy. Yeah, <laughs> got a pool man, barn. <laughs> grass. Blue. Blue grass. Wow. Kentucky blue grass, baby. No blue grass country music. No way, bro. Yeah, I would have thought. Gotta had a fiddle in the band. Fiddle? Okay. That'd be fire. Give me another one. Car. Broke down. Wow. Had a lot of those. <laughs> a lot of those. Holy cow. Laptop. Sucks. Wow. Need a new one. PBR. Mm. PBR tastes like graham crackers. I don't know if that's one word, but. What? CMU, PBR, 30 racks every week. Oh my God. All right. Those were the best. You do it for me. All right. All right. Cheese. Blech. Yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Go, girl. From the last episode. Gross. Yeah, if you knew. Yeah, if you watched. Yeah. <laughs> Taco Bell. Sandwich. I don't know why I said sandwich. <laughs> what the heck? Headset. Ears. Microphone. Sound. Table. Flat. <laughs> <laughs> he said flat. This is the first thing that popped my head. All right. 
I'm just trying to fire off like three Yeah, you are and it's hard. Yeah. Fridge. Cold. Stand. It's tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Salute. Marines. <laughs> 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 Bro, what? You, I said, uh, yeah, I said stand. You said tall. So that's why I went like this. <laughs> what I said. What I said. Salute. <laughs> Marines. Hoorah. <laughs> well, I'm dead. Shout out. Yeah. Thank you for your Thank service. you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I was for at a sure. gas station today. And uh, I know we said we were going to be done, but last thing, I was at a gas station today. There was a Marine there. I said thank you for your service. They looked at me like I was crazy. Really? Yeah. Really? I was like. You're not welcome anymore. Yeah. Just like I was being polite. Uh, I was proud to be an American. <laughs> but now you've done messed yeah. it up, boy. I was very thrown back by that. West Virginia? No, Ohio. Ohio. That's why. Couldn't believe it. Them dang Ohio. And she was filling her gas. And I said, I was filling my gas too. And she was walking by me. I said, thanks for your service, by the way. And uh, she looked at me. She didn't say thank you? She just walked away. She just looked at you? Yeah, bro. I was like, I take it back. Yeah. Give me that. (laughs) Give me that back. All right. All right. Let's go. That's another one. That's episode two. I'm going to end everyone like this. The Over Medium Podcast. I hope you guys loved it. We had a blast, like always. So much fun. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.